one more story mission of the day. It's called Blades of the Fallen. So we have to deliver a sword of an unknown knight to his grave. That's not going to be any sort of creepy at all. I wonder if this will be one of those missions with ghosts and skeletons, maybe. I could be wrong, though. But considering that I am at least going to gear myself for the equation. My flourish. Let's see, how are we looking on guns? I got them. Let's see. Yeah, I'm still doing alright there. shiny silver box or an iron box I got from a side mission that I can't open without a silver key and apparently the silver key is something I have to buy for like 750 energy which is either going to cost a metric ton of rounds or perhaps just oh wow what the crap Thank you. 
spot. Get vulnerable from the bottom. Get the pistol on the back. Whoa! Ah! Actually, rather short, so yeah, I'll take on one more and then call it a day. <coughs> We're almost up to 4 2, and then we can take deeper excavations into the arcade mode. We must go deeper. Oh, and I got a caliber. No, I just put one down. A blaster. Still kind of. Well, some warm fire crystals. More prestige. Alright. Shadow of the Beast. Let's see. We got nice and important. The Snarbal Axe. Oh no, it's Snorlax. Shadowy mass of things and claws that seems completely immune to the weaponry. Ooh. I hope that's really not the case. <laughs> Iron monsters offering the items around the clockworks. Have you discovered? Yet? No, not yet. Alright. Wild. No alchemy orbs that let me build my uh, shocking edge. But it might just be better to hoard up the crowns and then buy the weapons themselves and not even deal with the alchemy, because that's doable here. And to get alchemy, you gotta spin the crowns on the energies and then spin the energies on the orbs, and oh, it's a big old wish wash. Honestly, it's more cost effective to just hoard your crowns and buy the stuff directly. I might even just take all my alchemy materials and sell them off to the shops.
Power Rangers have to come back to you later.
you level that up. Sparks of Life are like extra one-ups. You get one per level for free, and then after that it costs you. And then those, in turn, cost you energy to renew, which in turn costs you cash or a whole lot of crowns. I think the going rate is 100 energies or uh, 6,000 crowns. 6,000 crowns takes, I don't know, about 120 episodes to get, give or take. At least that's been my, my hit here. Right. I go down to Continental and I turn in my uh, passport uh, little pink slip and then they tell me what's up. What's you today? Because I barely got home at like 4.45. The office was closed before I could get there. What time? You had to go through the whole thing? All day? I went to the new one. Why'd you go to the new one? Why'd you go to the morning one? Because I woke up and it was already 8 o'clock. See? I told you were going to be late. Wait! I made it for the... Oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> 
to level 10 now. And then I'm calling this adventure a quit because I didn't even think that one would be that long. After the short one? Whew. Uh, well now I know to watch the first chapter closers. Rubbing his fang. Yay. Evo catalysts. Okay, alright, so that's gonna evolve my battle sprite, alright. Yeah, that's a little bit of Pokemon ish thing. There we go, it's a nice little momentum. Our um, momentum. There we go. So, that will end that. episode. See you next time. Remember the links in the description if you want to contribute to the Extra Life campaign. And have yourselves a good day. Thank you for joining.